going on, guys? Day eight, the start of your second week here in this program. Okay, you are done day one to seven. You should have recovered from yesterday's recovery session. We are back to your lower body work today. So we're gonna change things up a little bit. We are keeping those same phases, but we're just gonna mix up the exercises, get your body off kinta a little bit and just keep it guessing, okay? So we're gonna warm up first, we'll do a dynamic warm up, and we'll get right into our four phase set here. So let's just bring one knee up to the midline of your body and switch. Nice and high. Hope you guys had a good recovery day yesterday. Drank a lot of water. Hydrated, hip rotations, okay, all the way around with one knee and switch. Hopefully none of you guys are still sore. Should be over that now, right? Good job. And Frankenstein's reach, one leg, switch, nice and high. One dumbbell and your main squeeze, red band. Keep that main squeeze close. We're going to use it in our second set here. All right, so we'll start off with your dumbbell. Phase one today, squat, lunge, combo. Okay, so what we're going to do here, split your feet. You're going to go down into a squat. We're going to rotate down, step back. Okay, back into your squat. Rotate. Down, step back. All right, here we go. Rotate, down, step back. Squat, rotate, down, step back. That's it, okay? We're gonna get our 15 reps here. Good. Rotate, down, step yourself back. Rotate, down, back, that's six. Rotate, down, seven, eight, nine, down, rotate, that's ten. Five more reps, guys, here we go. Over, down, step back, four more, down, four, here, turn, three, Last two. Ooh, step back. Last one. Rotate and down. Phase two is a pulse. We're going to stay in this direction. Pulse that split squat. Five, four, three, two, stay down. Iso hold is your phase three, and we're gonna rotate side to side. Iso hold, core movement, phase three. Three, two, and one. Great job. All right, phase four, hit. We are incorporating balance this morning here. So what we're gonna do, because we rotated out this way, we're gonna go two high knees, drop forward into a lunge, okay? Here we go, one, two, drop, balance. One, two, that's two. Three. You don't have to copy my sound techniques here. Four, five, you can if you want to. Six, up, seven, two high knees, one drop lunge, eight, nine, ten, five, more. five, four, three, two more, two, and one. Oh. All right. Kind of feel like I'm sweating already. So, get back to your first phase. Squat, 
Lunge combo. Squat, rotate this way, drop, step myself back, okay? Here we go. Lunge, rotate, balance, drop, step back. Squat, rotate, drop, step back. One, rotate, good. And I'm lifting my back heel here, down, step back, down, rotate, sit, step back. That's six. Cool. Drop. Don't worry if you fall off balance. That's how you improve that proprioception. Taking your body into tough balance positions. Here we go. That's it. Nine. Sit. Ten. Step back. Five more. Rotate. Drop. Step back out of the lunge. Four more, guys. Four. Rotate. Drop. Three. Last two. Here. Rotate. Two. Last one. One. Rotate. Drop. And now we're going to pulse. Phase two. So don't step yourself back here. That's it. Keep your back nice and straight. You have to bring your elbows back, your shoulders, do that. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Rotate, switch. Face three, oh. Just took myself off balance. See that? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more rotations. Ten, nine. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right. Double high knee, drop lunge right. Okay, so whatever leg you lunge with, you start up with. Okay, so here, one, two, drop. Use your arms. Back, one, two, sit. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. That's your first set. All right. Going back to squat lunge combo. Okay. So now this next one, I'm going to lift my right heel off the ground. So if you look at this foot, it's only my toes on the ground here. So I'm going to squat up and then I'm going to forward lunge. Okay. So that's my squat lunge combo. My right heel's up, it's level with my opposite foot, right? It's on the same line, except my left heel's down and my right heel is up. There you go, squat lunge combo. Sit, three, sounds delicious. Squat lunge combo, keep going here. Four, that's it. Workouts get harder every week. My jokes get worse. That's how it goes here. Until that last week when you're like super annoyed with me. Here we go. Eight, nine, six, ten, five more. Five, four, three, Two more, we're pulsing. Two, and one. All right, pulse is a rotational pulse. Got my elbows up, rotating into the hip first. Here we go. Two, 
five, four, three, two, one. Good. Square up. Iso hold. Core movement. We got side bends for phase three. Weight is in my right arm. Bending my trunk. Keep your shoulders back. Think about squeezing the obliques. If you want to put your arm on top like this, you can as well. Squeeze those obliques. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. All right. We are working balance again in your next one. So this is a tough exercise. It's called a single leg mountain climber. So what we're going to do here, okay, we're going to get down. I have my right foot elevated off the ground. I'm going to hop my left foot forward, and my right leg goes back to straight in the air, okay? So one, two, just like that. Four. Look how high my right leg is in the air. Six. Seven. Single leg mountain climber. Eight. Nine, ten, left leg burning. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! Time up. 20 seconds. Full. Whoo! That burns. All right, guys. Wow. Good sides. Okay, so we lifted the right heel on the first one. Now we're lifting the left heel. So if you want to see a side view, this is what your first one should look like. I'm squatting, and I'm lunging left this time, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one. Left heel up, squat, lunge, combo. So you never want to put that left heel down until you step forward into your lunge here. That's it. Four. Five, six, sit, seven, drop, eight, sit, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, Two more, we're pulsing. Two, and one. All right, rotate into the left hip now. Pulse up and down with that left leg. Elbows high. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Left dumbbell, left hand. Here we go. Phase three. Side trunk bends. Iso hold. Good. Watch that front foot. Make sure you relax that front foot so you can fire up that front glute area, that left glute here. Five, four, three, two, balance, one. Great job. All right, single leg mountain climber. We're gonna face the opposite direction here. So it was the left leg that was the, the leg that was on the floor, and the last one we have to switch it up here. Okay, so now the left leg's in the air. One, two, just like that, okay? Let's bring your body down a little bit. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's burning? Ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Ah, if it burns that bad, it must be good, right? All right. Moving on, set three. We are gonna step out into a side lunge this time. So we're gonna complete that third lunge 
We're starting with the squat. We're gonna go narrow squat. So my toes, straight forward and pretty narrow here. I'm gonna sit, there's my squat. Open, foot, lunge, okay? We're gonna go right first, okay? Here we go, three, two, one. Narrow squat, open. That's one. Two. Look how narrow I am with my squat. Three. That's four. Five. Six. Good. Open up that foot. If you lack mobility, this is how we do it. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five more. Five. And four. Three. Two more, guys. Two. And one. All right. We got our pulse. Dumbbell goes in right hand. Right heel up. Pulse for me. Five more, we're gonna hold. You got your ISO hold movement. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. Halos. All the way around. Going right on my first 10 here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Face forward, hip, balance incorporated here. This is what I'm gonna do. Balancing on my right leg, my inside is the left. I'm gonna lift my left leg behind me, hop, balance. Lift my right, hop, balance on the right, lift the left. Here we go, stay down, nice and low here. If you have to drop your back leg, that's how you do the modified version of this. So you just rest the toe down, which is okay as well. Here we go. That's eight. Nine. Ten. Lifting that back leg. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Last six. Feeling my glutes. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lovely. Woo. Back there. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Last one here for the side lunge. Opening left this time, okay? Wings up. Narrow squat. Open left. Good. Let's get our 15 here. Two. Three. Drop, four, five, that's it, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, Three, two more guys. Two, and one. All right, put in your left hand now. Heels up, pulse. Left heels up. Fire up those adductors, watch your posture. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, nice and hold. Okay, now I'm leaning left. Halos. Other way around. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. 
All right. Phase four. The balance hit, baby. Balance hit. Same thing, okay? 20 reps. Lift, back leg, hop over. Okay, if you need to drop the back foot, drop the back foot. Otherwise, keep in the air the whole time. Woo, balance. Here we go. I don't mind if I fall, if I fall off balance here, because I know I'm working hard. I'm pushing myself. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, last three, 3, 2, and 1. Great job. All right. One more set, guys. I'll give you a quick drink. Okay, one more set. You guys are doing an excellent job. You're 21 minutes in. You should be breathing hard. Sweat should start. All right, here we go. So on the next one, we are going to do a hip squat to a crossover lunge. But we're going to hit both sides this time, okay? So, exaggerated length on my squat. When I mean that, look how wide my feet are outside my hips. Down to the squat, crossover lunge, okay? So, when I do the crossover lunge, I lift my back heel. See my back heel? Comes up, right? Why? To create more mobility, okay? So, makes that crossover lunge a lot smoother. There you go. Look at my chest. Okay, I'm still staying upright. Just crossing one leg over my body here. Here we go. Sit. Four more. Four. Drop. Three. Drop. Two. And we're here middle. Pulse. Hip squat. Keep your heels glued on this one. Drop your butt. Get down. The lower the better here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I still hold core movement. We're gonna do a little half chop. Sit, half chop. Ten on each side. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Great job. All right. Hit balance incorporation here. I'm going to do a drop squat to a balanced single leg. Okay? So here, I'm going to drop, balance. Drop, balance. Okay? Here we go. You know how good this is for your nervous system, guys? Not that you care about that. I'm just telling you. Here we go. Drop, one, two, Three, four. After you guys are done these 30 days, you have some karate kick balance out here. Good job. Seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, whoa, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Grab yourself a quick turn, guys. Great job. That is your first set. How long should I give you guys? A minute? I always say I'm going to give you a minute and I don't. So I got to give you a minute here. Let's go clock. There we go. Great job in that first set. <clears throat> We're gonna move on to our next set here in about 30 seconds. 
Same kind of concepts, different exercises. We're not going to repeat that first set. We're going to get into some new strategies out of your squat lunge combo, okay? Hitting different directions here. We're going to go into our pelvic floor set right after that, okay? 10 seconds, guys. Get that last drink of water. I know you guys have those like massive eight liter bottles, so fill them up. Three, two, one. All right, so next one here. We are going back to our squat lunge combo. This time, okay, we're starting off with a split squat, okay? So we're actually gonna start with the right leg in front of the left, okay? So I'm gonna go down into a split squat in this position, and then I'm gonna step back with the same leg into a back lunge, okay? So down, okay, we haven't done a back lunge yet, right? Sit, drop, down, back, sit. Remember, you're planting, drop down to the ground. So it's a split squat. When you pivot backwards, give me that back lunge. Drop, sit. Man, these burn. A lot of balance incorporated here too. Four more. One, two, one, and two. Good job. Now, I'm gonna open away from the hip. Okay, so I'm going to this side now on the pulse. Pulse the inside. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Square up. Iso hold. Arms are straight up. I'm going to move up a little bit just so you guys can see me here. And I'm just going to do an eccentric whip. My arms are straight. I'm leaning my torso forward and back without arching my back. Think about your abs here. Bring the weight slightly behind your shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Felt those in my ass. All right, balance hit. We haven't done a runner's high knee yet, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna get down, throw it up, balance, then land that right leg behind you. Here we go. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right. Left leg. We just burnt it out on that jump, so split squat. Left leg is in front. I'm pivoting backwards and lunging behind me, okay? Here we go. So forward, right heel comes up, left heel comes up. Right heel comes up, left heel comes up. Why am I saying that to you guys? It's gonna help keep you guys on balance here. Right heel up, left heel up. Here we go. Certainly hope that your legs are burning as much as mine now. Because I like that feeling. Last four. Three, two, one. All right. We're opening this way now. Pulsing the inside. Inside of your leg. Away from that right hip. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Square up. Right leg in front. Balance. Eccentric whip. That's it. Move your midsection. Think about your abs here. That's it. Five, four, 
Three, two, one. Great job. Oh. All right. The runner's high knee on this side here. Right legs in front. Throw it up. Get your 15. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. You need to grab yourself your mat or your black pack here for this last set. All right, so you are going to grab your dumbbell here. We're gonna start off down on your knees. So I'm actually gonna give you guys a side profile here. So I think it'll be better for you to see the angle here. But we are doing our squat lunge combo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a primal squat. What is a primal squat? I'm pushing my butt back to my heels. Thrusting forward. Okay, now when I do my lunge, I'm gonna step, start off with the left leg up. Okay, bring that knee back. Primal. Get up. Back. Primal. Step up. Okay, make sure you're doing this on your mat. Okay, we don't need you scuffing up those knees. We'll be doing this on linoleum. Okay, we want to keep those knees nice and fresh. Down. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about right now. Here we go. Seven. Sit. Eight. Working on a primal. Great mobility exercise for the hip flexors too. Nine. Ten. Five more. Five. Wipe the sweat. Down, four, last three, sit, three, drop, two, drop, up. All right, now we got our pulse, okay? On the pulse, we've rotated into the hip, we've rotated it away. Now, put the arm straight up above. Pulse. Change your weight distribution up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cool. All right, shake it off a little bit. Go into your exo hold, core movement. We're gonna row, hand off, press. Row, hand off. Press, okay, I'm extending out. Row, hand off, press. You should really feel that left glute because that weight is moving across the body here. Row, upper back, rib cage on the extension. Upper back, rib cage. Four more. Four, row, three, two more. Two, last one, and one. Ooh. All right. Get into that balance work. What are we doing next? We're going to get down. Left foot's going to be out here. Okay. What I want you to do is we're going to hop to this position. Step left in and hop. Okay. Now, I'll face the camera on this one so you can see. My left foot's out, hop, balance, hop, balance. Okay, we're still incorporating hit, balance, okay? Try to look graceful on this one. Say cheese. Grade eight graduation photo. Here we go. Nine, 10, five more, five, four, Three more. Three, two, and one. All right, switch sides. None of you guys actually went to school. We had to like put our hands under our chin. Anyway, all right. 
What is he talking about? All right, final squat, step up lunge, opposite side. Last and final here, then we're gonna move on to your pelvic floor set, okay? Here we go, so down. Weight is up, sit in your primal, get that stretch, and we're up. Down, sit, step, up. Here we go. Down, up. That's it. Push, primal, get up. Here we go. Five. Up. Six. Sit. Up. Seven. Good. Get up onto those back toes. Up your left leg. Up. Eight. Sit. Nine. Drop. Ten. Five more. Five. Drop. Four. Last three. Sit. Three. Sit. Two. Last one, guys. Drop. And one. All right. Put in your left arm now. Pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, last one. All right, so hold, get your foot in here. Row, hand off, cross the body. Upper back, hand off, balance here. Push, row, hand off, step. Four, five, and off, six, seven, smooth exchange here, eight, nine, ten, give me five more, here we go, one, two, three, two more, four, Last one, Whoa. and five, great job. All right guys, last hit, this is a graceful one. I'm not gonna joke about this one guys, don't worry. We get serious right now, we're gonna get serious on this last one. Ready, so I'm up, step, here we go. Up. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Great job, guys. Whew. Legs are like concrete right now. Grab yourself a quick drink. And we'll move on to that next set, that pelvic floor. Great work, everybody. Make sure you got your red band here on your next one.
We're gonna line our backs. We're gonna have our heels out like this. In. First phase of the pelvic floor is we're gonna do some type of hip thrust here, okay? So we're gonna start off, we're gonna get the hips up and down. That's your phase one. High as you can. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more, guys. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay up. And now we're just going to shift our knees in one direction and then switch. We're going to keep our hips off the ground here. Side to side. Six, five, four, three. Butt is off the ground. Two, one. Good. Put that right leg up in the air. Knee bent. Last one here. Unilateral. Hips up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get your 20 here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. All right, switch sides. Three phases here. I'm gonna angle my body in the opposite direction here. All right, so first one, pelvic floor lift. Okay, we're just getting some type of lift off the ground. Try not to hit the butt to the floor here. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I'm holding my cable down on my lower abs to create tension here. That's it, high as you can. If you didn't have a band at home, what could you use? You could use a belt if you wanted to, hold yourself down. Any type of resistance would work here, okay? If you have the band with the handles, you can do that too. I just like using the red band a little bit more. It's got some more extension on it. Three, two, one. Right, hips up. I'm gonna angle my knees side to side here. Keep your hips up. Phase two is the weight shift. Three, two, one. All right, other leg in the air. Hips up and down, here we go. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, great job. All right, I'm gonna square off here. You got set number two, your first one here, we're gonna get a pelvic floor lift. We'll start off with a butterfly lift. So the heels are together, my knees are angled wide here, and I'm just gonna lift my hips up and down. Butterfly lifts. Five. That's it, let's get all the way up to 20 here. This one I'm gonna feel more on the inside of my legs and my hips. Okay, my knees are flared in a butterfly. Six, five, four, three, two. Stay up. Okay, and I got my weight shift now, so I'm bringing my one knee to the floor and then switching. Okay, and what this does is it targets those hips, because you already know that because you can feel it. All the way over, all the way back, weight shift. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, we're going unilateral, hips are up, take your right leg and just lift it straight up and down, but keep your hips off the ground. 
Last one here. You should actually feel this on the left side. Inside of your left hamstring here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Burn is real, guys. Burn is real. All right. Feet together. Knees wide. Hips up and down. Here we go. Back to your butterflies. Five more. Four, three, two. Stay up with the hips. Lean side to side. Good. Keep those knees wide. Just lean them. Five, four, three, two. Unilateral left leg. Straight up and down. Here we go. Six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, we got one more set here, guys. So now you're going to keep the feet wide. So as you can see, my feet are wide, but I'm going to bring my knees together, okay? So there's a split between the feet, but if I was to draw a line from my hip to my knee, it's straight and they're together, okay? I'm going to go hips up and down. So we call this an inverted hip thrust, okay? Because my knees are inverted, they're touching here. And I should feel it right in that lower back area, right in the middle of my spine here. A little bit on the inside of your legs too. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I'm gonna stay up, and now my weight shift is just gonna be knees wide, invert. Knees wide, invert. I'm keeping my hips up, you should feel a nice little burn in that lower back area above the glutes. Invert, wide. Invert, wide. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going unilateral again. This right knee is up. Drop the hips. Lift, extend. Down, kick it up. Hips up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more guys. Hips up, kick, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right. Last set for pelvic floor. Knees inverted. Okay. Regular hip thrust. The knees inverted. Here we go. Back into that lower back area. Five more. Five, four, three, Two, one. Hips up. Knees invert and wide. You got your weight shift here. Close the doors. Open the doors. Knees together. Knees wide. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Left leg in the air this time. Down, up, kick. Last one here. Two, three, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two more. Two, and one. Great job. 
All right. Pelvic floor set is done. You guys can grab a quick drink. And we're gonna do our little class finisher here. Whew. Feel good after that one. All right, for our class finisher today, we are gonna incorporate balance, hit, and strength. Okay, all those things that we focused on today. So what we're gonna do is grab this red band, put it on, we'll start off with a static, go into a pulse, go into a hit, and we're done, okay? Here we go, so your first one, we're just gonna lift that left leg out to the side. Fired up those hips a ton today. We're gonna take out whatever we have left in that hip. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Open up your feet. Okay. Pulse. Split pulse. Five, four. Three, two, one. 20 speed jacks and we're done. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whip it down. Great job. You guys are officially done for the day. We're gonna do a quick stretch. And I'll see you guys here for tomorrow. Your upper body push and pull day. Day nine of 30. Can you imagine how strong you guys are gonna be after this? I'm telling you. All right, so let's actually go sideways. We're gonna do our pigeon pose. Pat is down. Right knee here. Chest down over the center. Stretch out your right hip. Switch it up. Left leg. Bend. Chest down. Push your butt back to your heels, stretch out your back. Who's calling? It's gotta be my mom. It's like, man, why didn't I sign up for this? All right, guys, thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow, push and pull day. Have yourselves a great day.